All right, Ace Back people, I am WW Ace Back, and today I want to show you some random but must have tools if you want to become an Ace Back technician. It has to be in your tool bag. So, first and foremost, let's start off. Number one, you need a good, reliable tool bag to organize your tools. So, first up, you have it. This is a tool bag. You want to get you a good, Two bag, it could be a bag, a bucket. Uh, it don't matter really what brand, just want you a good tool bag. This brand here is by Ready Wears. Some other good reliable brands, maybe like a Vito pack. You can look up that brand, but uh, Dewalt make tool bags. Uh, several different other companies make tool bags. But if you just want something that's uh, not very expensive you can actually just go with a bucket and this is a i think a three gallon bucket right here uh sometimes we do use buckets and you can just put two bag in there that's a cheap wow this bucket right here costs probably about three dollars you get a five gallon bucket and the good thing about buckets you can't sit them sit on them while you troubleshooting sometimes put the top on them and it becomes a a good organizer but this one right here by ready wears and you see it has the pocket organizer mine's kind of junky mine's always junky actually uh, i do work folks um but yeah good a good tool bag where you can keep your service wrenches and different things like that so do highly recommend a good good tool bag to keep your tools organized next we're going to go with you got it, manifold. You can go with analogs, especially if you're just starting off. I do highly recommend these, uh, but digital, these are like calculators. Instead of kind of knowing the analog or the arithmetic part of it, you can get you some digital gauges and they are going to do the calculation for you. Soup, heat, sub, cooling. All you need is your temperature clamps on your copper lines and it's going to do the math for you. You can just take the guessing out of it. But there's also several different brands that you can get. I think these are maybe Yellow Jacket. These are from LE Tech. A lot of technicians like uh, the field piece where they have these little pros that you can hook up to it. And it comes with apps where you can uh, do your super heat and sub cool and look, look at them right from your app on your phone. So these are from Field Peace. Get you a good set of refrigerant gauges. You have to have, you cannot be a technician without refrigerant gauges. Next up is your driver, your impact driver. You don't want to be in the field using hand tools. You want to get you a good driver so you can take these screws in and out fast um, so get you a good uh, driver this is a d walk like i said it don't matter what brand you use uh, milwaukee they make several other different brands the green guys we get the name of them but get you a good impact driver like i say i can take panels off fast with these also, another bonus, and you get you a good magnetic bit. This is a quarter and a five sixteenth. And HVAC, especially residential, these are our main screws right here. Quarter and five sixteenth. When we do commercial, that'll step up to three eight. So you want to get you a good magnetic bit. If it don't ha does not have a magnet, a magnet in it, do not get it it's very important to have a magnet that will catch your screws if they fall an extension to go with the impact they have to have you a good extension this is a 12 inch i also recommend to get a six inch also a bonus is a 90 Sometimes we get in hard to read spots and you would need a 90. This is from Dewalt as well. 
whether that's removing blower motors. Sometimes you cannot get your drill to stick inside the blower cabinet. So you'll need a 90 to put on some of these hard to reach spots, uh, trying to remove blower motors and other difficult screws to access. Whether it's taking out heat exchangers, need you a good 90 to get to those uh, tough, hard to reach screws. All right, so also to be a technician, HVAC, we have to be able to read temperature. So I'm gonna show you several different uh, temperature uh, thermometers to uh, read different temperatures. You're gonna need temperature clamps. This right here is uh, another temperature reader from uh, LE Tech. This can read two temperatures at one time. Right now I only have one in here, it's about 42 degrees out here but I can read return and supply air temperatures at one time with this right here, or I can get like superheat and sub cooling. I can take my copper line reading and do it manually. Like I say, with the gauges, uh, if you use analog gauges, you can use these uh, temperature clamps right here. If you were trying to calculate superheat and sub cooling. So, Definitely need you several different type of uh, clamp reading. But if I would use my analog gauges, I can use some of these uh, thermal clamps right here. Hook it up to the liquid line and the suction line and get superheat and sub cooling. This right here is a psychrometer. If I want to get my wet bulb and dry bulb temperatures, look at this one. This is a great one right here uh, from Field Peace. You want to get your wet bulb and, and dry bulb to calculate super heat. It's an awesome tool right here. And also we have, if you, a lot of inspectors use this. This is good for HVAC uh, technicians also. This is an infrared right here. I don't know what brand it is. I think they come from maybe Harbor Freight or something like that. On some of these tools, I have done uh, reviews and I have discount code on some of these tools, uh, but I have made videos, but this is um, kind of like a, one of the best kept secrets in HVAC as far as the thermal imaging cameras can definitely uh, get you out of or help you troubleshoot a lot easier. So I do recommend getting familiar with the thermal imaging cameras. They are very awesome because you can actually see the temperature is kind of like this. See exactly what you read and looking at. But I do have uh, videos that I did reviews as the, with these, and I'll try to post um, the discount link in the description. I just have to find it. I think it's on one of my older videos. But hey, this tool here is awesome. I, I love it. Uh, here's another one. I actually did a review on, uh, but these here is a, another thermal imaging camera. If you just want a pocket size that you can just pull out sometime, this right here is by Test Long. But if you have like an Android or iPhone, this is Type C, but they make them for both. And you can get the thermal imaging right there on your phone. I don't want to make this video too long, but I think I'm going to share two modes. I'm going to do an unboxing of this one right here in that box, but definitely you need a good multimeter. I recommend Fluke or Field Peace, but they do make uh, other brands as well that you can try. Um, that's pretty good. It, it may not be the best quality as far as uh, it probably won't last as long because you can feel some of the plastic on these are just not as tough as the Field Peace, but these the, the, the flukes and field pieces, a lot of times, especially if you take care of them, I'm kind of rough on my tools. So when I show you, I, I drop my tools all the time. So I do need some rugged. Uh, I dropped this one a couple of times. It may not last as long, but if you do take care of your tools and want to spend a lot, a little bit more money on a good uh, multimeter that can do different things like checking amps, 
voltages, uh, maybe in rush. I know this one check in rush. This one do not check in rush. Actually, this one don't even check amps. So if you can get you an all in one that check amps, voltage, and this one does it all. It does in rush, amps, voltage, and pretty much everything that you need. And I have used this one here by uh, Tisman uh, quite a few times in the field and uh, I haven't had any problem with it. It's like a smart meter. It does the calculation for you. But the uh, Fluke is definitely my go to. I've been using uh, field piece and Fluke since I've been in the HVAC industry. So get you a good multimeter that can check voltages, uh, continuity, uh, check your uh, microfarads. This will check microfarads as far as your capacitors. But find you one that will uh, do do everything. This is the Fluke 117. And I, uh, this meter right here may be between two and three hundred dollars, but I have Fluke meters all the way up to like a thousand dollars for one meter. But get you a good good quality meter let's do the unboxing this one right here all right so this right here is a nitrogen regulator especially if you're just getting in the field and you can see you don't have to get you can just click it right here that's for brazing this is what we call from purging and this is what we call for testing testing you're going to have a lot more pressure. I think this one goes up to like 500 PSI of nitrogen in there. So you can kind of like get the full max with this. When you uh, purging while you brazing, instead of the 500, it's only going to allow you to get maybe uh, 10 PSI on your uh, nitrogen because you can't uh, braze anything if you purge it with 500 uh, uh, pounds of nitrogen. So very important to get you a good nitrogen regulator that just all right it's back people so i'm gonna end it right here but i can go on and on so leave in the comment section below if you want me to continue to make videos like this the two that i recommend you can't have one without the other be honest with you you need all the tools to be a successful hvac technician so it's not the top three tools or the top five tools we all you need all of them to become a good HVAC technician. So I always ask the question, what tool you can't live without, but I'll be honest with you, you, you need all of them. You just can't go to a job with a meter. You can't go to a job with just an impact driver. You can't go to a job with just gauges because you need a truck, uh, 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 your truck needs to be stocked. So when you go to that job, no matter what the case may be, refrigerant leak detector, uh, uh, a hammer, a screwdriver. Ain't no telling what you're going to need for that job. So um, I, I have little hydraulic jacks and everything. So leave in the comment section below. Do you want me to continue to start making videos like this on tools that I suggest and recommend? I'd expect